Captain Hut, up and at him. Today begins your basic training for Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Advance Wars features tactical turn-based missions and a colorful cast of characters who will keep you on your toes. We'll cover some strategies to make sure you're in tip-top shape when you begin. All right then, let's get into it. While you work your way through the two separate story campaigns, you'll control several different commanding officers, commonly referred to as COs. Your mission? Defending from opposing nations. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's make sure you understand the basics of battle. Maps are grid based and units can only move a certain number of spaces per turn. Depending on their type, some units can cover more distance and others have advantages on different terrain. For example, soldiers can only move so far because they're on foot, but vehicles can cover a lot more ground. Now, when it comes to crossing a forest or mountain range, your soldiers are better suited for the trek. March! A unit's type also determines its range of attack. Infantry units can only attack adjacent enemies, but artillery units can cause damage from further away. As units take damage and lose HP, they'll also inflict less damage on their foes. You do have the option to join units together though, healing them back up and replenishing their ammo. Once your units have acted and you end the turn, your opponent gets to make their moves. Now, let's cover how you can gain the tactical advantage. In a typical battle, you'll need to capture your opponent's HQ or defeat all their units to secure the win. We have a good number of units available, but we could use a little extra support. By selecting one of your controlled bases, you can build more units, assuming you have the funds. More controlled properties equals more moolah. You'll want to deploy units that are effective against the opposition. There's no such thing as the perfect army, so I recommend experimenting with all types to adapt to the situation. Ah, perfect timing to introduce CO powers. During exchanges with your opponents, your meter will fill up and you'll be able to use a CO power. Extraordinary abilities that, when used at the right time, can give you the upper hand. The Orange Star's Andy can use a CO power called Hyper Repair. This restores HP to all his units and increases their defense. Ready for attack. Eagle of the Green Earth Army has a CO power called Lightning Strike, which allows his units that have already acted to move again. There's a wide variety of CO powers at your disposal, so figure out which best suit your playstyle. Ba-boom! By the way, there are a couple of new features that'll come in handy. Want to speed up the action? Just hold down the ZR button to cruise through dialogue and combat animations. There's also a shiny new reset turn option that allows you to, you guessed it, reset the current turn. Following along so far? Good, because we're not done yet. Hoorah! If the campaign isn't enough for you, then try your hand at The War Room. Here you can test your tactical prowess in a wide array of different challenges with the CO of your choice. Try to get the top ranking. Still want more? Then try Versus Mode. Square off locally against up to three human or computer opponents on one Nintendo Switch system or wirelessly across four systems if each player has the game. Are your squad mates further afield? Then challenge each other via the internet in Online Mode. You and a friend can compete head-to-head -head in an all-out tactical tussle. You'll both need a Nintendo Switch console and the game, as well as active Nintendo Switch Online memberships. There are a few other modes where you can spend some time, including the design room. Here, you can create custom maps and share them online or through a local wireless connection. You can also pay a visit to the local commissary called Hachi Shop. The Orange Star Army's local chatterbox Hachi is ready and willing to separate you from your in-game coins in exchange for additional battle maps, COs who can be used in the war room and multiplayer modes, and more. Finally, there's an in-game 
Gallery. Enjoy music and artwork you've obtained from Hachi Shop, among other assorted sundries. It's a great way to reminisce and relive fond memories. Ahem. <clears throat> Attention. All right, we've reached the end of your training. Ready to show off everything you've learned? Proof you've got what it takes when Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp arrives on Nintendo Switch April 21st. You can dive right in on launch day by pre-ordering on Nintendo eShop.